All right, guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. Uh, today, I am finally getting that next tier of the Kavya standing. I had to run three today. I've already run two. So I'm going to run the third and then uh, catch the next cutscene. And I think that's going to give us the level that we need to be able to start having another means of going after Archon Shards from Bird every week. Um, obviously, you trade in standing for that. So I'll have to run a few bounties in order to do it, but it's nice to have another uh, reasonably quick way to do it. So I'm just going to pop in with Fibonacci. I'll say bounty, mirror defense. We'll do the top spec one. That will give me more than enough. All right, jump in here, take things down, blast, blast, blast. Take those down, those are super annoying in my opinion. All right, we'll run back and give uh, the room another roar. I see you. And down you go. Okay. All right, move on to the next room. Easy peasy. Give him a quick roar. Any second now. Hurry, Tenno. An eyeball cannot defend itself. Do we have uh, a covered eyeball somewhere? I don't think on this game mode that happens. He must be talking about something else. Oh, no, you don't. Pick that one down. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty good iron skin there. From standing in the jade light, that's the first time I've uh, done that. Because I haven't played Rhino since uh, that comment somebody left me on my page. So it's actually pretty funny how high it can get.
Ready for another roar. One, two, three. Rhino's iron skin sitting at 65 plus thousand. Your That's actually crazy. All the difference. We can hold the line without you. If we must. I'll say back out because I want to go get the rank up. Very impressive, Tenno. You held them all back. Time to get out of here. Who did we have? Uh, Garuda Prime. Color Bow. Yeah, Color Vo is one I would very much like to get. I got, He's one that I don't want to forget that I have to go back into Daviri for. That's fine. Yep, post-migration. Great. So let's get our rank up. Would you care for a quick excursion? <clears throat> Together again. And we'll get a little cutscene, I presume. <laughs> Lloyd! Mm. Lloyd is prepared for us to... Uh, <clears throat> Undergo treatment. Oh, oh. As we are the only creatures to have fallen afoul of this particular affliction, it will be quite an achievement should we survive. Perhaps you'd join us for the big event. You, you never know. It may actually work. <laughs> and if not, um, be a love and ensure the silly old thing doesn't flagellate himself for the failure. You know how he is. Mm. This way. Okay. I figured I'd let him finish saying his thing. Um. I mean, I guess I could grab a sigil. I don't really need any lenses I could pick a scene. I'll just take a Kavya sigil. I don't even know what you do with these things. Prestige, I guess maybe it's an orbiter decoration. I might add. Alright. Chamber is sealed. Prepare for saturation. I've done all I can. Oh, get a little color in here now. Increasing saturation! The levels of decay aren't shifting. I'm sorry. I tried. I daren't open the chamber. The radiation in you. I, I don't know what. Is... is there nothing? We're done, Fish. No point in howling about it. Just... Just gonna sit down. Will... Will we be like men now? We'll all get to meet our bird. Don't you worry about nothing. You can talk her ear off, and she'll love you for it. Bird? Bird? Tank It's not your fault, Fib. We just played the hand we were dealt as best we could. Not your fault. None of our fault. Nice to see them make Fib. amends. So long, fish. <laughs> Lloyd, you did good. <laughs> Bad comet. 
city. Their void contamination levels are dropping. Of course. Huzzah. At least I'll be able to bury. Their, their contamination levels haven't dropped. They've evolved. Alchemized. You were dead. I guess it didn't take. There's definitely some weird crap going on with us right now. You want to explain this? We're... Incandescent. Some kind of chromatic volatility. A side effect of void and anti-void and something I can't quite identify. A reaction that saved your lives, but... Did that? I look ridiculous! <laughs> we look beautiful! We look purple! Not me! I want to be yellow! <laughs> Good grief! How did he do that? I want to be... red. Wow! Amazing! Amazing! <laughs> I'm still purple! Everything's green, so everything's clean. Let's... let's get you out of there. Everything is not green! Void! I'm green! I'm green! Okay. Well, I had a feeling that it wouldn't be a total failure. Attention, Tenno! Now that Lloyd and the Carvia have settled in, I feel I can be of more use. Is that the right? The laboratories are for research, after all, and science is calling. Henceforth, I shall be dividing my time between the upper necrolisk and down here in the Sanctum Anatomica. Uh, keep it on the hush-hush, if you don't mind. Okay, so Lloyd down here, I'm guessing that there's something new I'll have access to if Lloyd is down here. Yeah, let's go uh, talk to well, Lloyd. When the grandchildren were still oh. very small. I was thinking of Necroloid. I did what I could, but there seemed to be no hope. I'm going to talk to all of them, of course. I'm guessing they'll have something to say. Out of our sight. He told us she was recovering and mustn't be disturbed. And one bright morning, Kalimos came running up to greet us. All better. I often wondered if he simply cloned her and the original had died. If he did, he never gave any sign of it. So far as Albrecht was concerned, Kalimos was Kalimos. I'm glad the Carvia made it, Tenno. I couldn't help Kalimos. But we saved them, didn't we? Okay. Well, I don't need to do anything else there, so let's go talk to there you are. Tag Fur Bird and Fib. Whoops. Oh, probably out for comfort. Your attention, please. Oh, customize Fibonacci. Interesting. You think so? Oh, very well. Ah, I'll Press just leave them up. as they are. No, that's fine. Uh, so let's now fast travel to Bird. I know he's just up a Listen, level. I only been thinking for a little while, and I think I might have been dead there for a bit. So maybe I'm not doing it right, but I know I'd have been dead for more than a bit if it wasn't for you. So anytime you want to go in that chamber and get irradiated and then killed and then come back as a rainbow like we did, I'll ask Mr. Lloyd to put it back together, and I'll be the one pulling the lever on you. That's what they call 
Returning a favor. I think. Anything for you, pal. You're a regular bird four. Okay. We'll do shiny treasures after this. What a nice tenno. Shiny treasures. So it takes 30,000. I don't have any of the amber ones yet, so that would be useful. I think I only have one blue and several reds. Uh, but either way, we know it's going to take 30,000 for that, so let's go fast travel to Tagfer. Hey, ah, I see Necroloid on the fast travel. For, well, giving us a purpose. Stopping us breaking apart. Better to be alone together, right? The last little while has been the... Well, happiest is a stretch, but least miserable I've been since all this happened. We all owe you for saving what little we had left. But just so we're clear, when we find Albrecht, <laughs> the old man is mine. Even if I have to go through Lloyd to get to her. Okay, yeah, I still don't um, want to do Netracel runs quite yet. I will get to it eventually, just a little beyond the scope of where I am in my uh, journey so far, personally. All right, so now let's go fast travel to Necroloid and see if there's... These can't be right. Yes, hello. Um, Deep Archimedia. The situation. Deep enemy levels. <laughs> Look at these enemy levels. With one small wrinkle. If we don't Octavia, Naja, and Daggett. Well what is this? Exceltra. Rubico, Penta. Furious, Kraken, Sonicor. Sylvan Aegis. What in the world? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but here we are. So, how do we do this? Oh, right. That's my job. Um, come on, Necroloid. If we bollocks this up, we'll never hear the end of it. Ah, okay. Mm. Wow. Tenno, you could get Talford shards for doing that? Arcane adapters. Ceremonial beacon used to map void locations. Okay. More Talford. A uh, common for Talford shard to drop. Um. I'm guessing that's going to be equally as hard, if not worse, than the Netracel, so we'll skip that for now, but it's pretty cool that he's down here. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I'm going to go back to Fibonacci one more time. I'm going to see how much standing I could possibly I'm have left to get today. It can't be that much. Oh, uh, yeah, only 10,000 left. So, I mean... I guess uh, what I'll do, I'll just run a couple more of those bounties real quick. That'll give me the 10,000 because then tomorrow I could do uh, four more. That'll give me the 30 and I could pick up a shard. So I'm just going to pause the video, do this. I don't need to show another run, uh, but I got the story done that I wanted to do. And that'll have a little background prep work ready for going after the shards. And then I'm going to do the weekly Archon uh, Hunt for a shard so i haven't done that yet this week i also haven't uh, used any shards yet in any of my frames and i'm thinking you know maybe i could start doing that at least on rhino prime uh, i got him kind of set up how i want uh, just jump in and see what else makes the most sense of course it costs to pull shards out so if i pick something dumb i don't know i'll play around with it anyway Quick cut, I'm going to run a couple bounties and then we'll be back and we'll go uh, tackle an Archon Hunt. Alright guys, I did a couple quick bounty runs there to get the last of my daily standing 
over with Kavya. So let's just jump over to the Archon Hunt. It's another Crimson Shard. That's the one I have the most of. Um, so I'm going to go for this. Uh, let's see, what are we doing today? A Rescue, Interception, and Showdown. That's probably fine. So let's, uh, whoops, that's right. It's three-pronged. I'll leave it on public, of course. It would be an interesting test to try to do this solo sometime. But I think I'd have to have, like, a really, really powerful survivability and nuke frame. Like, Dante is probably the closest balance of both that I have right now. Or at least that I know how to use right now. <laughs> Where's it telling us to go? Oh, this way. I'm going the wrong way. Objective is back this way. Run, 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 run. Keep going. Sure is a long run to get over here. Man alive. That's it? Wow. It was a super fast rescue. Okay. Well, no problem here. Just in case anybody feels the need to uh, be fighting through this throng, give them a quick little roar. Hello, Narmer. Ooh, what's this? Credits. Interesting. Not sure I've ever paid attention to a credit resource node. I was thinking, it almost looks like a sapphire. I didn't know there were sapphires. Distress of Prime, nearly at 20. Yeah, I'm going to try to just randomly swap in because I use the Felarx so much. These days, uh, kind of my primary and late in incarnate form when I need it. I guess if uh, is they want to roll to the next one and vote for it. Yep, I'm good for that. Yep, perfect. Frost Prime, Gauss Prime, and Ivar Prime, and Rena Prime. A tier one. Frost Prime. How in the world do you have Frost Prime and Latum at Tier 1? I don't get it. Oh, maybe that's the rollover. Somebody told me it goes beyond 30. It goes into, like, a different type of mastery rank thereafter. That's probably it. This facility is a crossroad for Narmer. Listen in. I want to know what he's telling his flock. Do you remember, Natal? That first day, how our father... Lifted you screaming from the manifold. How we sang. How we Alright. They've got that one, so let's, I guess, I'll head in for D. This is always one of the toughest to hold and maintain on here, so I'll help you them get it real quick. Tower. We'll help them take C. Now. Nothing wrong with that. Lost. We've got A. Let's head back to D. I got you, bud. Don't worry about it.
taken a tower. You must recapture it. Want to make sure we're still hanging on to that one. Conflict? Conflict where? Thought they had to be in the circle for it to be like a properly impactful conflict. No, nope, we do still have one in here. Alright, we got D back, where's C? That's right up above me, yep. Let's go on the offensive. Get off the wire, Rhino. It's not necessary, bud. Thanks. Definitely caps faster with the teammate in there. I appreciate the assist. Keep it up. I don't know if that's a companion or a... Yeah, it is. That's fine. I'll still get it up. Hey, the more hands on deck, the better. That's my philosophy. Yeah, Rhino Stomp uh, does actually really come in handy for crowd control when you need it, especially in harder uh, level content. Just trying to <laughs> keep them um, frozen in place for everybody here as long as I can. The enemy has captured a tower. We cannot allow the enemy to learn of our espionage. Eliminate the remaining enemy personnel. Yeah, a little jade light. Oh, frost shield. All right, who's left? We got one over here. A little sneaky bugger. Where are you hiding? Got a few up top up here. All right, we'll have to do it all over again, I believe. Two rounds, yep, two waves. I'm gonna head back into the main D point. Because this no one is typically the toughest. With soul and with towel. And upon his tongue, the Zaraman flame. And the mighty they tend to flood in here pretty hard. Before him. Yeah, we hear you, Puzzle. And he feared it not. I have detected another message incoming. Capture and decode the signal. You know, 
every time I don't play Rhino for a while and I come back, I'm always just like, ah, oh, I'm home. I just love Rhino. Wow, 10 levels in one little thing. Okay, so Distress of Prime will be nearly ranked up. That's awesome. All right, let's back out. I'm assuming they're going to roll to the final encounter. Yep, perfect. May as well stick with the squad. Well played, guys. Archon Amar yearns for the new creation that Pazul has promised him. All right. He imagines he will be a lord of the wilderness instead of what he is now. The price of that vision is measured in innocent lives. Stop him. Okay, we roll through this way. Yep, looks like that's probably the way we need to go. I feel like the maps are slightly expanded for the Archon hunts. Awesome. Here we go. Amar. He will close the distance shockingly fast when he creates duplicates. Look for the one that is armed. Go pick up those. Yep. To us heathens, but stolen deacon veils should allow you to deceive. I the guess uh, I'll head to B with the other teammate. Whoops! I fell. That is unfortunate. Where am I standing? Down, but we need to come help our buddy over here. All right, I think we got that. Yep. I'm guessing they'll have the opposite side done any second. Yep, perfect. Get my roar to ready. Way. Oh, Rhino. Despite 
fight his pride. Perfect. Era never could stand alone. Time after time, he allowed himself to be used. First by our father, then by Ballas. And now what is left of him is puppeted by the ram. I will not say he deserved better, but I grieve for who he could have been. You're too kind, Lotus. All right, get the roar. Any second now, everybody's gonna be up here. That shark. Amar thought himself beautiful. A now, good work, guys. A mere trophy. Good job. Yeah, I see why they make this in game. Like, once you've put in the time and you have enough gear, like, I can't imagine trying that early game. Honestly, that would just be bonkers. Those enemy levels. <laughs> It's so much higher than, you know, your first playthrough. That's a large part of what makes it fun. Yep, Tau Forge Crimson. So I think I have two of those now. It's awesome. GG the group, it's only polite. Okay, so you know what? I think now I'll just, let's go head down to the Helminth. I have yet to put any shards in any of my frames. I was told just that you can, they function like mods. You can take them out and move them around at will so your collection is your collection i don't know if that means if i decide to throw xyz on rhino then they're locked in and i'll have to pull them to use them on another frame or if they function exactly like mods like oh you want these shards on that frame and then you want to bring in another frame you can put those same shards on a different frame i guess i'll figure it out but either way i play rhino a lot i don't think it's a total waste uh let's see so I have an option of melee crit, primary status, secondary crit, ability strength, ability duration, or health shield capacity, energy, armor, and health regen per second. So I'm thinking ability strength is probably... Yeah. Let's just make him stronger. And that uses my two reds uh, of the Tau Forge variety. Then I could throw in a little extra. I mean, that's not... Nothing on there really seems like it applies too much to Rhino. What are yellow? I forget. I know somewhere you can hover and see what they are. Max energy is filled on spawn. Effectiveness on health orbs, energy orbs, casting speed. Uh, that would be great for a caster frame. So I guess, yeah, I really just want a bunch of Tau Forged Reds to make him even stronger. Either way, that's pretty cool. So that should have made Rhino a little better right there. Let's, let's go take a peek. Let's interact with the arsenal over here and just see what it says on his stats now your chosen warframe suits you damage on stomp it's definitely up roar damage increase that's obviously higher overguard i feel like that's a little higher than it used to be charge i don't really use yeah, we, we know about He's got kind of one of the least impressive overall um, kind of uh, passives. But I guess, I mean, it does function from time to time. Anyway, we got that done and I put my first shards in. I guess uh, I'll just wait 
because I know that if you decide to swap stuff around, it takes even more resources. So I'm going to leave those two. I'll just uh, continue adding them slowly over time. But we got a couple shards in them now, so that should make them a little stronger. Uh, either way, always good to get an Archon Hunt done. Anyway, guys, yeah, we got the Kavya standing done. We got the next bit of story. I don't know if you finish filling it out through five, if there's going to be any more that they tell us about. Uh, there was some new something with the Necroloid. I don't remember what it was called, but it was really high-level enemies, much like the Netracells. Actually, it looked worse than the Netracells, so I'm guessing that would be uh, very much an uh, end-to-end game thing. Uh, but we got the standing done, we got our weekly Archon hunt done, and uh, uh, so far when the Prime Extractor has pulled Lanthorn, it's pulled 8, which is a pretty nice pull for a single, you know, just pull it. Pulls a lot of Void Gel, uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, mission accomplished, and I hadn't played Rhino in a hot minute, so uh, it was fun to jump back on the Rhino. Um, so... Emergency frequency. Being that I've got so many frames to get through, guys, and we're still doing testing for uh, Steel Path Stable, uh, probably in the next video I'm going to pull another new one out. I don't know exactly who it's going to be, but that's my plan is to do another uh, first impression uh, test of a new-to-me frame, and uh, we'll see how they function and see if we have, uh, if I feel like they have what it takes for Steel Path, and we'll of course test them anyway, even if they don't seem like the best candidate. Um, one big takeaway from doing these tests though that I've gathered is that it seems that if you have the frame specific mods from the syndicates, that uh, it does overall make the frames a lot more powerful. Um, the mods are pretty good overall. Some are better than others, uh, but it can take like a pretty good frame to like a really, really good frame just with a single mod tweak. Um, so yeah, that's uh, kind of going to be part of the continuing test. We're going to jump in, see what pops up, and uh, we'll just keep testing it in the rotation and the various setups that uh, we throw at our disposal. But regardless, guys, uh, glad I finally got that next Kavya rank up. So we'll, every few days, make sure to go in and uh, grab the weekly Archon Charts we can from Bird give us another way to do them along with the weekly hunts uh so yeah i've been pushing towards that for a few weeks now i'm glad to finally have that done and uh had fun jumping back on my main man uh, rhino here gross guys that is going to do it for the day as always i do sincerely appreciate you checking in and we will catch you on the next one